Hi guys, welcome to another video from Digit.in and we are on the MWC 2019 show floor and what I have with me is the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. Now the 5G variant of the S10 is going to come out way way later once 5G networks are established and I'm not even sure when we're going to see this in India because 5G in India is a while away right now but in countries like the US and UK uh, 5G will start be, uh, being implemented uh, somewhere around the middle of 2019 towards the end of 2019 so uh, the phone is aimed at uh, those markets uh, let me tell you a little bit about the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G what it does have is one of the biggest displays we've seen on a Galaxy uh, S series device uh, the S10 5G comes with a 6.7 inch quad HD plus curved dynamic AMOLED display um, in it, it does have the same sort of display as the other S10 series where the edges taper off towards the side but uh, the S10 plus comes in at 6.4 inches so this is yes the biggest display we have seen on a Galaxy S10 device till date it is a 6.7 inch display that is quite a big display and, but still you know Samsung has managed to keep the phone uh, pretty compact in a way that it fits in the hand uh, beautifully it's light it's not very heavy and uh, it seems pretty durable uh, in first hand impressions uh, let me tell you a little bit about what the phone has uh, as does all as do all the galaxy s10 series of devices the s10 5g also comes with a punch hole displays uh, so you can see there is a sort of a punch hole over here an elongated punch hole if you have it uh, and in it are the two selfie uh, cameras one is a 10 megapixel dual pixel autofocus camera and the other is a 3d depth sensor qvga camera uh, at the back of the device you get the same uh, three cameras set up uh, that the s10 plus and the s10 also have so you have a 12 megapixel telephoto lens you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens but uh, what is extra in the G galaxy s10 5g is a 3d depth tof sensor so yeah that is to capture more depth information with the phone so that is something extra that you get um, with the galaxy s10 5g uh, apart from that most of the specs uh, of the phone remain the same uh, the only difference here being it is only available in a single 8 gb ram and 256 gb memory variant there is no 512 memory variant of the galaxy s10 5g and there is definitely no 1 tb variant uh, we're already expecting the s10 5g to be you know expensive uh, the word has it that uh, 5G devices are going to be two to three hundred dollars more expensive than your usual premium flagship pricing. So, uh, I think Samsung did not make a 1TB or a 512 GB version of the Galaxy S10 5G, given that the device is already going to be pretty expensive uh, for a lot of people. Uh, what is great about it is it still supports the 3.5 mm headphone jack over here at the bottom. Samsung has done that with all the S series of devices this time around, and which is a great uh, retention that we see on the devices on the side is the power button uh, it has an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor we can't show that to you right now because all these devices are locked to someone else's account but uh, to access that all you need to do is head into the settings and you go into your biometrics and security and uh, you go into a feature called Samsung Pass which actually lets you uh, create a fingerprint sensor and an account for yourself so we're not going to do that since these are demo devices and we definitely don't want our fingerprints floating around on uh, demo devices uh, but essentially the fingerprint sensor ultrasonic module is located uh, in this vicinity on the display and uh, yeah that is essentially the galaxy s10 5g it's got a 4500 mah uh, battery and what samsung calls wireless um, uh, charging uh, wireless power share uh, in fact so what wireless power share does is that uh, if you place the device on top of the um, uh, galaxy s10 5g it's going to be able to charge that device now that device could be a smartphone phone it could be the galaxy buds so anything that charges wirelessly can be charged through the s10 5g uh, how you do that is by accessing a feature over here called the virus wireless power share you turn wireless power share on and essentially now you can place any device on the back of the 
phone and it goes ahead and charges that device. Uh, in terms of other specifications, the S10 5G will also run Android 9.4 and what you see layered on top is Samsung's One UI. Um, it's got its own uh, look and feel this time around and I think Samsung's doing a pretty decent job where you see, you know, these extended columns over here uh, for all the uh, apps that you go into. So uh, you have the settings and when you scroll up, uh, the the sort of uh, band moves up when you scroll up so that Samsung's one UI at play. It's uh, pretty smooth compared to what we've been seeing on Samsung phones and I think Samsung has finally hit that sweet spot uh, with one UI. We're going to have to use it more extensively on other Samsung devices to give you our, our opinion on how that works on the new S10 series of devices. Um, for now, that is it from Digit.in and keep watching uh, our YouTube channel. Uh, keep following us on Instagram for all the updates from Mobile World Congress 2019. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.